What's going on everybody? Yugi Fire Four here. I'm here with some super heavy warrior archetype replays. I was kinda bored, I wanna try something new, and I decided to try out some super heavy warriors, which is an archetype coming out in Duelist Advent. And the concept of the archetype is actually pretty interesting. Allowing your monsters to attack while they're in defense position is pretty cool, which is why they have pretty big beefy defenses. The deck isn't it's by all means not even close to competitive. It's not really the most consistent thing since it revolves revolves around Big Bang K a little too much, a little too heavily dependent on it. But once you get the deck rolling and once you get some of the stuff to actually go off, it's actually really fun. And you know, it's a deck I could definitely recommend people trying out if they're looking for something different. But again, fair warning, it's not really consistent, so you might get some jewels where it's like, eh, you got some pretty shitty hands. But anyway, so Game number one versus some, against some kind of element. It's like an element of hero deck. Some kind of weird hero deck. Better standard tricks, ocean. But we have our 999. Go to Poly Duality. Because, you know, we don't really special summon a lot in this deck. Uh, except for Giant Rat. And we're going to get the Mirror Force for extra protection. Set the Rat, set MST, set Mirror Force in turn. We have the Acidic Downboard to pretty much boost our defenses by 400. Spell Absorption. Let's face up. Summons up the Element of Hero. Ocean! Giant Rat summons up Big Bang Cave since it has a thousand attacks, switches into defense mode. Now, some, some pretty fun stuff. I'm going to MST hitting his uh, source because since my monsters can now attack him while in defense mode, Mirror Force is um, unaffected by things like Mirror Force. Summon this and then activate Static Downpour against another Refining Puncher, but they now have 3900 attack in a sense. Magic Cylinders, but Magic Cylinder only hits the attack. Since my attack is 500, I only take 500 points of damage. So, yeah, that gets around Magic Cylinder. It's really cool. So he sacks off the percentage checks, sets the Necro Chain. He's like, oh, hi, Blue Eyes. I didn't know you had that. So we're going to set the Compulse and attack with Big Ben K. I wasn't completely sure on what monster it was, so I decided to attack with the strongest one first, just in case. But all the life points he gained, I'm just going to take him away. And he can't really do anything, so I believe he surrenders because, like, yeah, I got... All powerful, like shit going on there. It's really crazy. So, duel number two. I have a pretty sort of a lengthy game, a 32 turn game. Uh, oh, yeah, this is actually pretty funny. I'm gonna turn on the chat log because of uh, something this guy fucking said to me. It was like hilarious. But it's, it's like a rank four fish deck. He actually uh, got his revenge on me. A little while, like after this game, which is quite hilarious. So I go for the card, he said everything, and just draw two. So just trying to basically get things. In face, base defense hits my MSD. It's like, okay, I don't care. After Redox, special summoning. And it's like, well, Redox is so good in this deck. It really is. I'm going to go to Maxi just to see if I can get a, a nice little plus draw off of him. And I get another big Ben K. I don't know why. I tend to get Ben Big and K a lot. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But we get the D2 Shield, which is, oh my god, it's so good in this deck. <laughs> Oh, D2 Shield is busted in this deck. We're going to Dark Hole, get rid of that shit, set the Giant Rat, set D2 Shield. For those who know what D2 Shield does, it pretty much doubles the defense of a monster you control uh, permanently, so it hits the original defense. So he's going to attack with his Abyssal King Shark, Giant Rat's effect. I summon Big Ben K in defense mode. Uh, and this is, should be around when he surrenders because like, I'm going to use Redox. No, I'm going to D2 Shield it. Battle phase, attack into it at 5,300 points of damage. And for those who don't know, I am on Percy White Pro because I was too lazy to put this on death. But we have our 7,000 beat still. That's crazy. Some of the giant rap and attack. Oh, he didn't say fuck. He did eventually said, uh... I don't remember that. Um, he, did, he eventually just said, fuck you, and he quit. <laughs> it was hilarious. But he did exact his revenge against me uh, in a rematch where we actually uh, faced each other and he was able to basically kick my ass. So, to each your zone. Anyway, versus Pendulum Summons. Pendulum. So, we're going to summon our Super Heavy Warrior, Waka 02, which pretty much can't be destroyed battle. Now, all of them have the effect of, you know, when they're summoned, you can switch them to defense. I'm going to maxi to pretty much get some free draws off, but he decides to go ahead and go for the, uh, I don't know, what is his face? The Entertainment and Amen Boats. I don't really know exactly, but I'm going to end my turn. 
And I sort of, sort of goof up here, I think. Now, I guess there's a plan. Activates the Entertainment Toad. Toad's effect switches to my attack and defense, but I still can't be destroyed by battle, but I decided to Mirror Force anyway. I don't really remember why. I I think I just forgot he couldn't be destroyed by battle. I was like, oh shit, I got to protect this thing for Big Bang K, which I eventually get. So we're going to set the giant rat and end our turn with that. And this will be hilarious with the D2 shield, which you'll see later on in the game. He's going to Mirror MST, my bottomless effect. Switches his attack and defense, which is pretty interesting. That's actually a nice combination there, but Giant Rat summons the the super heavy warrior Big Bang K, switching him to the fence mode. And this is the first time I've faced against like the an entertainment deck, so it's kind of interesting to see someone actually do this. But we're gonna set that, and we're gonna go ahead and attack with our Waka, switches to defense mode, and we're just going to go ahead and attack. And he gets the draw off with supply unit, but I don't really care about that. Just saying, just saying, just saying. So entertainment. Targets this special is his silver his silver claw attacks into it. In fact, I chain D2 shield, doubling his original defense, which is now 7,000 defense since his original defense was 3,500 before the swap. So now I just pretty much win. I'm just going to go in, attack, and finish him off with that 4,900 points of damage. Just like look at that power of Big Ben K. It is crazy. So now for the long grudge match against. Chaos Dragons! Yes, Chaos Dragons 6 Axis Chaos Dragons to be more precise. And we're just gonna summon that and just set two D2 shields because it is amazingly good. So he summons up, hence Lila uses its effect to destroy that. I changed D2 shield because why not just hit it, use it, that 4,000 defense, I don't really care, I'm just, you know, might as well use it. Mills, A, Lila, and Akaius. Now, this is actually the second game. The first game, uh, he stacked me like no tomorrow. He had the Lila plus Dark Hole plus the BLS. It's like, damn, man. Like, you got all the answers. All the answers. It was like, what could be it? So, I DT shield again. I target, even though it won't work. I know it won't work, but I don't give a shit. Goes for the Lava Chain. Banishes for Chaos Orchard. This guy's like got everything. Like, double veilers. Like, jeez, man. What you gonna do? Since the battle fader banishes for the light pulsars, like wow. Giant Rackets destroys Giant Rats effect. I summon the Big Ben K. Goes to the fence mode now. It's like, yeah, I got you now, I got you now. This thing is a boss. I like it's, it's so good. So we get the mirror force. We're gonna go acidic downpour, summon up our uh our nine 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 nine, and we're gonna go ahead attack the chaos sorcerer, because this thing is gonna be a nuisance. And then we're gonna attack into the lava chain because again that's gonna be a nuisance. Light pulse are not so much because well this thing is protected because it's got 3,900 defense which is now his attack and I got a freaking mirror force there which would be freaking awesome. Summon Zark Grabber, Dark Grabber effect since Mali and the uh, Metal Dragon and he ends his turn. It's like I was kind of half expecting the Plex Butter Zombie which I think is he playing BLZ? Like he should be playing like some level eight synchros. Wow, you are ba <laughs> bad. player is bad in my opinion because he's like, is he? He's playing Gachi. Yeah, you're not the really that good of a player in my opinion because you're playing that shit. He's gonna affect failure my big Bang case. Like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I can't destroy your shit now because Bing Bang case effects negated. Because his heretic sun dragon suit goes for the ex the is ex the beetle. And he's going to basically send my Big Bang K to the graveyard. Go for the Gaia Dragon. And it's like, you know what? Screw you. I have a Mirror Force. My Mirror Force is amazing. Look at my Mirror Force. My Mirror Force is so awesome. I get the Car Card D. Now, I, yeah, summon Car Card D because I'm, you know, safe for these two guys on the field. And I want to draw some cards. I want to deck them a little bit. I was kind of hoping I get the Radox so I can just Mosh Reborn and not have to sack my monsters. That's kind of what I was trying to do. There's summons Tef, special uh, suits, two Tef's effect, summons the Wattail Dragon. I uh, exceed into the Gauntlet Shooter. It's like, oh, you dirty, dirty boy. Why you gotta do that to me? Like, what do my monsters ever do to you? Besides attacking to your own monsters and destroying them. But other than that, they didn't do anything to you. So I'm gonna summon up my uh, my Waka Waka's effect. I switch to defense. He veilers me, so it was like ah uh, crap. But luckily, you know, he still can't beat us for right battle. So I still have a 2400 wall 
uh, once I am able to switch him to defense position. So I'm going to take another 1900 here. He's in the lead, but not for too long. This is actually a really, really big grind game. It took quite a while. So switch that to defense mode, summon card card D, card card D effect, draw two, get the torrential and dark hole. He's got a face on charge, the light brigade, top deck the bottomless trap hole, and ends his turn. So I get my uh, another acidic downpour. It's a really good card in this deck, except the torrential end turn. I still have this big Ben K in my hand, waiting for a redox, or possibly giant rat. Sacks for the Kaias, and it's like, oh shit. And I'm gonna go finish chain that. Like, okay, if he has the MST, I'm going to be salty as hell, but, hey, at least I tried to get over to stop it, but likely he didn't have it, so <coughs> I am happy about that. So, I'm going to summon my, uh, my, I don't know, the 9991, one, and then just in turn, because more defense is good for me. Gets the Tef, which he does end up sacking, and he still cannot get over my monsters, because 2200 defense, 2400 defense, a sick downpour is just way too good. I'm going to MST, hitting one of his back row, sack both for Big Bang K, switch to defense, and attack into the Tef, because bottomless, you can't hurt me. But I decided to go ahead and take the risk, because the duel was going nowhere fast, of me just sitting there looking pretty with my monsters. Says the Plague in this turn, but he's got no more Malleys left, he's used them all. But I finally get the Giant Rat, I set Giant Rat, and attack into the Plague Spitter Zombie, getting rid of that. So, he ends up topping his Light Pulsar Dragon. Banish to for Light Pulsar. And he goes ahead and attacks into my Giant Rat. Uses the effect, especially with the Big Ben K. Switch to Defense Mode. And he turns, oh, it was 22 turns. I thought it was 32. I guess, it's, I guess that proves I can't count. I apparently need to go back to Kindergarten because I can't count to 32. Anyway. Yeah, but he couldn't do anything because attacking the Light Pulsar. Pulsar brings up a Metal Dragon, attacking the Metal Dragon, and he just couldn't do anything. I had the Maxi, so it didn't really matter to me. But anyway, that was Super Heavy Warriors. Really fun deck. I like it a lot. Like I said, a little inconsistent, but still fun as hell. Uh, we can actually pull out the big Bank K shenanigans. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the duels, and I'll see you guys next time.